This evening, the Tampa Police Department is doing something it's never done before. As 10 Tampa Bay's Liz Crawford tells us now, the calls for more resources for victims and families of violent crime are being heard. The investigation might be closed. The court case is over, but the pain lingers. It's something that you have to go through, pain that you have to deal with every single day of your life. Victims and family members left behind after violent crimes often get forgotten. Everybody say it'll get better, but no, it won't. It will never get better. These kids are not coming back. Tampa Councilman Louis Vieira has long been leading the charge for more resources for crime victims. But every time there's a rape, every time there's a murder, every time there's a robbery, you've got a victim who's left behind and who's scared and whose security has been violated. This week, the Tampa Police Department announced it will hire a victim advocate. It's a first for the department. We come out, we investigate the crime, but then victims and witnesses are kind of left not really understanding the process or, you know, they, they suffer from trauma. Um, they have a lot of questions that, you know, about the court process. Bridging the gap between horror and healing. Even though they've gone through something so traumatic, you know, one day at a time, things, things will get better. Um, so we kind of just help them through that. Over in St. Petersburg, the police department has had a victim advocate for more than three decades. Traumatic experiences may not affect you immediately. They may affect you down the line. Um, we stay in constant contact with our victims and follow them through. Liz Crawford, 10 Tampa Bay. Tampa City Council is expected to approve a budget next month that includes a fund to help victims pay their bills in the initial weeks following a violent crime.